Buhari's regime forced me to publish false economic statistics. Yemi Kale. Yemi Kale is the immediate past statistician general of the federal SGF said during his time in office the president Muhammadu Buhari regime pre pre pressurized him to publish inaccurate data. He however said he didn't budget as he was bent on discharging his duties accurately, Mr. Kalihu doubled as the chief executive officer of the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, said this during an interview with Arise TV, where he spoke on political reaction to the unemployment data published under his watch. Data published by NBS in March this year indicates indicated that Nigeria's unemployment rate stood at 33.3% in the fourth quarter of 2020, compared to 27.1% in Q2. The data was faulted by the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngige, who accused NBS of inaccuracy and not using the right methodology. These have been a little confusion as to the accuracy of the data generated by the NBS. So we want to align everything tomorrow. The World Bank says the NBS method methodology doesn't conform with the global standard, especially the ILO format of arriving at such employment index, Mr. Ngige had said, Mr. For Mr. Kali, his extreme stubbornness made him shun the political attacks and opinions as he ensured that the right methodology was adopted in arriving at such data. I am extremely stubborn, which a few of my friends have said is a requirement for the job, but on a serious note, when I started this job, I remember mentioning to my key staff that if I must do this job, I must be ready to be fired at a moment. <laughs> at a moment, notice, he said, I am serving my country and I will serve it correctly. I am ready to lose my job for doing the right thing. I am not ready to keep my job for doing the wrong things. Once I convinced myself that that that's the way it's going to go i didn't particularly care about any political attacks attacks or any opinion that were not ideal what i did was to ensure that we followed the current methodology he challenged office holders who had problems with the data to defend it based on evidence they worked with it and well showed it to them that this is what we do mr kale believes that Faulting data provided by the NBS was a norm for any administration that never agrees with accurate statistics. But in terms in terms of political interference, I don't think it's a new to Nigeria. I remember even in the US, the former President Trump we always agree with good data and he will say the ones he didn't believe to have been correct. I wasn't faced by different comments made by different people that did not agree with our work. We are not supposed to publish data that is agreed upon by anybody. We are supposed to publish data that is correct and accurate in line with what comes out on the field and that's exactly what we focused on. But I think the most important thing was ensure assur ensuring that my mind was focused on the mandate of the office which was to produce liable accurate data he had it in 2018 gabashewo the special assistant to the president on media and publicity disagreed with nbs method of tracking the unemployment rate in nigeria mr shewo accused mr kali of publishing inaccurate figure to tarnish the reputation of the buhari regime so i think the data collected on the basis of which some of the judgments has been passed is misleading the presidential aide said 
The data has been unfair to the administration. They had ignored job creation in the area of agriculture. If you are talking about job lose losses, no, we have created at least 12 million new jobs in the area of agriculture. <laughs> So what is trying to say now is that they are trying to manipulate the data of unemployment. Is that what they are trying to say? If they like, let them manipulate it. Let them do whatever they want to do. That does not mean that Nigerians youth will not will stop crying that they don't have job, they don't have means of livelihood. So what are they saying? It doesn't matter how much they want to manipulate the data. Or if someone does not have a job, will the person say the the person has a job just to please some people. No way. So if they like, let them continue managing everything the way they want to manipulate it. Doesn't really matter. Thank God you came to say what has been itching you. APC is manipulating everything. They forget that when you tell a lie, you need to tell more lies to cover the lies you told. Exactly. You are correct. I am sorry for any incoming presidents because they will see a mess. You should be ashamed of yourself. Who was this one? Why should he be ashamed of himself? Because you are a liar and whoever did not lie with you is a tempt evil. Hmm. You are the one, you are the same like them. So no come out to behave like you say you aren't, you are a saint. You are not in just because they have collected food from your mouth. That's why you talk to cause confusion for nigerians you will not get sympathy from us we have knew all of you people's game hmm. did you read through his statements there are still some honorable people in this country please examine yourself hmm. don't be silly bro so where in all this did the man Kali say or allowed alluded to any fact that he was forced by the government of Buhari to publish false data. Hmm. Okay, oh, Lai Lai government from Lai Lai Muhammad to Garbage Shenu to Onoche to Femi Adesile <laughs> Adesilai and now crisis in the Ingege Una well done ABC. Oh, no shame or their name by error <laughs> you are serving your country how by being pu pushed to publish in accurate data okay you have sold yourself as a cheap piece of cake whatever you publish again will be considered as trash as long as you were pushed to do the wrong thing maybe someone more influential than Buhari's regime or much influential than Buhari has pushed you again to forcefully write what will counter those data and you are telling us that you were pushed. Who pushed you? He didn't mention the name. He was just trying to be a saint. That is what he's doing. Don't go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.